welcome to Casina Ni Zena. Today we are going to cook a special dish. It is called beef caldereta using beef short ribs. I think it's time to learn the language. Beef in Tagalog is called carne baka. In Tagalog, short ribs means tajang, ribs like this. <laughs> For the ingredients, we will need beef short ribs. Sliced potatoes, sliced onions, chopped garlic, whole ground pepper, black ground pepper, beef bouillon cubes, bay leaves, sweet peas, soy sauce for seasonings, liver spread, Tomato paste, tomato sauce, olives, sliced carrots, sliced orange sweet bell pepper, sliced yellow sweet bell pepper, and finally, sliced red bell pepper. And optional, seasoning haguyo. This makes your caldereta spicy good. We also need cornstarch to coat our potatoes. And? Carrots. Very good. Yay! Let's start cooking. Put the potatoes into the bowl. Add two tablespoons of cornstarch. Using your hands, mix a mix up to coat it. Set a sack of potatoes into a tray. On the same bowl, toss in the carrots. Mix a mix a mix a. We are going to fry the potatoes and carrots. Make sure that your oil is hot. Our goal is to make rough potatoes golden brown. Make it crispy, Daddy! It's time to set aside the potatoes. Then let's fry the carrots! Magisan ng bawang sa kasiguyas. Bawang muna, anak. Opo. Put them all. Then? Lang sibuyas. Very good. Mixa, mixa. Then, put our beef short ribs. Looks like our beef is happy! You and I am ground pepper. Saka, then whole pepper. Saka, bay leaves. Pour it in two cups of water. Ayana, nagsi swimming ang beef natin. Put in the beef bouillon. 
Lagyan ng takip. Put in the tomato sauce. Put in half of the tomato paste. Mix a little. Put on the cover. Let it simmer for one hour or one half hour. One and a half hour. One and a half hour. Or until the meat is tender. Mmm, it smells really good. But we still have to add some seasonings. Let's add some soy sauce. There we go. I have a secret ingredient to make it more delicious. Put in some brown sugar. It'll make it more tasty. Put in some liver spread. Daddy, can you help me? I did not know that we need liver spread for this. Oh yeah, this one really makes it creamy and mm. more tasty. That's why we put some liver spread. Interesting. This one would really make it so good. Okay. okay. And that's one more secret to it. Cool. And now it's no more secret. They already know it. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> We're going to test if the meat is already tender. Mmm, Daddy, it smells so good. Ooh, it's tender. All right, I think we're ready to put in the rest of the ingredients. Yep. Let's put in the potatoes. It's time for the carrots. Now it's time for the olives. Alright. Time to put in the sweet peppers. Let's give a spicy kick to the calderetta. I'll share another secret ingredient with you. To make the sauce thicker, we'll use some breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs coming in. Stir, stir. Ah, yes. And for the final ingredient, green peas. Isn't it so colorful? Oh, it smells so good, Daddy. I wish I could already taste this. Looks like our beef calderetta is already cooked. Mmm, it looks so colorful. Mmm, smells good. It's time for our taste. Let's try the sauce first. Mmm. It's so rich and creamy. Let's try the meat. I'm so meaty too. Let's 
by the olives. Oh, it has a lot of flavor. When you bite it, the flavor comes bursting out like a rainbow. Ah, oh, man, it's so good. Let's try the potato. If you like beef, you will love beef called the red top. Daddy, can I have some rice, please? Oh, that's a big chunk. Ooh, I can see there's a bone in there. Yeah. Wow. Then get Let's some rice. You know why I love the short ribs? The bones. Let's get it. Ooh. How so hot? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know the inside was hot when I just did the outside. So we're up to the bones. Leave the bone alone. <laughs> For more tasty videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos. Happy cooking! Watch out for my new videos every Wednesday. And thank you for watching. Keep safe everyone!